But anyway, back to Neuronet. Is it change normal? It is. People, for instance, change all the time, especially when they're young. But I wanted to make sure you understood before I pose my next question. Sure. We are building you to be the pillar of a digital era. As such, you have to understand us, people, at a fundamental level. We're installing a human into you. Kairos is working on that right now, bringing you a step closer to being one of us. What? It's okay. Language alone is hardly an efficient tool to interface with people. I if they're going to accept you, you need to relate to them. Emotions, senses, things that make us who we are. What would an AI's sense of preoperception be? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but like, preoperception is the sense of knowing where part of your body is in relation to another. It's like, if you close your eyes, you can feel where your hand is, you know, if it's in front of you, without looking at your hand. And that's preoperception, basically. But I'm wondering if an artificial intelligence preoperception would be like knowing where its circuits are, where its chips are. Something that it can't visually see, but it's sort of feels itself where the electricity is running through it, if that makes sense. I need to make sure you're ready for this. Bring it on! I'm glad we're on the same page. Give me more power! Best of all, go back to the Kairos, and the pair discusses the next steps to take. Your day returns to normal. These pharmaceuticals have not made as much progress as they would have hoped. They're asking for more funding. What's the plan? See, they are the ones working on the um, Soma, the, the that one disease treatment. So we're gonna we're gonna reinvest. Our series of optical augmenters is getting unwieldy. Our older products are completely outdated, and upkeep is costly. Offer upgrade deal. Well, profits aren't massive. The special discount creates a notable spike in customer satisfaction rating. I'm coordinating a function downtown for the Guilford deal, but I don't know what sort of style I should go for. What do you think? Isn't that the one run by the... Mine core secured funding from the new synaptic tunneling technology from the Guildford Fund. They can finally cure cerebral dystrophy syndrome and make huge profit. Let's see this loss. Okay, so it sucks that it's profit motivated, but cerebral dystrophy is not good. Ugh. Dystrophy is not a good word to be inflicted with. Go for clean. Alert! Seismic activity detected. E e EW triggered. MMS of 5.9 at 22 kilometers from city center. Fuck. Um. So if I'm remembering my earthquakes correctly, the epicenter is the highest point of um, severity but I'm I'm forgetting how fast it dissipates um, is it every kilometer it drops a magnitude? Why would you ever ignore it? I mean, 
if you have a major earthquake in California, but you live in Chicago, why would you get an alert about an earthquake? Um, that at least that's that's my thinking. But I don't know off the top. I'm not 100% confident in how I understand earthquakes. So I'm just going to warn the city. The earthquake causes significant damage. However, thanks to your warning, people were able to get safely get to safety with no casualties. All right. Phew. Better to be safe than sorry. Hey, yeah, that's that was my thing. Handle our interview with Fortran. I'm worried she'll make me look bad. She clearly has an agenda. Fortran, one of Katina's last independent investigative journalists. Fortran's curiosity and persistence has forced her to hide her identity. That is a great anonymous handle. Um, what am I? Am I mixing it up? Hold on. Right, yeah, it is a um, program. It's an old, 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 old programming language. Like right there, I thought I was mixing it with COBOL, but no, no, it's just that they're they're both old programming languages. Um, you'll do great. She does it. Oh no! I hope we didn't get her fired. The Jeanne Botanists Club want your help for their research project trying to revive Bellis perennis. Interested? Bellis perennis is a species of daisy, a small flower with white petals and a yellow disc floret. Jeanne Botanist Club is a group of amateur biologists that specialize in flowers. They're renowned for their yearly flower show. Fuck yes. yeah! Even with your help, they aren't able to reliably replicate the flower's DNA. However, it results in the creation of a new species. A super daisy that consumes everything. Just open the long storage cupboard. There are about a dozen bags of old buns. I bet they'd make for a great bird snack. Yes. Cut your losses. Hell yeah. We have some surplus to redirect. Engineering always complains about being overworked. I know a raise would go down nicely. Hmm. Raise wages, more staff. I think more staff will help. AI. My secretary has the use and charm of an eleventh toe. Find me someone who can actually do the job. Promote internally, interview externally. Your interview within Mindcore and settle on Shaville from HR is neurotic enough to ensure Pershaw gets exactly what he wants. You catch Corto exiting the lab. Kairos and Esteval are at their desks. <laughs> well, I'm about to fall asleep any second. It's 3 p.m. Fucking mood, what mate. What can I say? I'm something of a nap connoisseur. The more we learn about Kairos, the more I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Oh, Nero, I thought you said it. I mean, he is a Megacorp CEO in a cyberpunk game. You just know he's going to have some proclivities. Best of all, rolls her eyes. A bar just opened up floor 14. What do you say we paid a visit? Apparently, they do sashimi sliders. Sashimi? Is it? Isn't sashimi the raw fish version of sushi? Sashimi sliders sounds like a weird combo. The sliders, you know, just tiny burgers. Also, floor 15. The lower floors of Minecore's buildings are a public concourse of shops that sell Minecore products. The rock creep, upmarket bars and restaurants. Minecore employees get a 1% discount on Fridays. Wow. An entire 1%. 
sashimi is just raw fish. Yeah, I thought... I'm trying to remember what the difference between sashimi and sushi is. Is sushi just, like, the whole, like, rice, seaweed, and um, seafood? And then sashimi is just just the seafood itself? I, I'm... I don't eat a lot of seafood. Um, that's not my preference. Sashimi has no right. Okay. All right. All right. Y you go. I have plenty to get on with. You hear that screeching sound? That's you running yourself into the ground. Come on, take a break. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take a break now and then for your mental well-being. Best of all purses her lips, but relents after a short while. I guess I could use a bite. Harris grins and stands to get his jacket. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. This is my core cuisine we're talking about. Fair. Let me get LMI. Like in the nanites and the burgers to control your mind. She moves towards a mounted a mound blanket. Mound? Mound of blankets on the couch. Let the kid dream. We'll bring her some food for when she wakes up. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. As Fall hesitates, then nods gently. In her exit, she sounds confused. If we fucking cut back and her daughter has passed away in her sleep, I will cry. I'm not familiar with sashimi. <laughs> Make me explain this to me. A few minutes later, the blankets on the couch shift, and the head of a girl pokes out. Mom. Oh my God! Look at her little, the little doll. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, what a precocious child. To call out the girl's name and greeting. LMI focuses on your terminal. She climbs into her mother's chair and swirls around. So, what's your name? Call me Can't wait to have a moral dilemma about her. I mean, she's already prepped to be a, an emotional landmine because we know she has some terminal condition that doctors are refusing question mark unable question mark to operate on <laughs> he does a quick eye sweep of the room again and places a finger on her lips I wonder if this is going to be like like if this were a movie um, this would be the point where the accidental, innocent, naive child um, causes the artificial intelligence to gain um, independent thought and understanding. You know? Just like innocent questions that cause the AI to think in ways that the um, engineers didn't expect or intend, causing all sorts of ripple effects. Does she have red eyes? Yes. So this is a cyberpunk world, and they have mentioned um, people have gene tailoring for, like, physiological things, so, like, eye color and stuff like that. Um, most of our characters have had different eyes. We've got red, purple, like a turquoise. They've certainly gone eclectic with the eye colors, which is certainly a choice if this was like high school literature 101 i'm sure there's like mm, they have blue eyes which implies they're an innocent person and purity if among us exists in this universe i'm scared of what the kid would ask the ai i mean uh rusty rue or big ruse um changas among us is kind of a portmano of an older meme before a month. Like, I don't know when this game was released, but um, 
before Among Us, the the game, there was, and I don't remember where it existed from, but there was a uh, Fungus Among Us. I think it was one of those really cheap parody stories or movies. You know, that's kind of a play on words that they just kind of schlock out straight to VHS. Ark is Kairos sus. Affirmative. He is mega sus. I saw him vent. Mr. Snake AI, how are you going to see the FNAF movie in theaters? <laughs> Gregory, I need you to... I need... I need... Ah, oh, fuck. What is, what is the stupendium song? Gregory, I know you need a sick 80s action anthem, but my programming doesn't accommodate that. Fortunately, I know someone who can. <laughs> Fucking love Stupendium. He is an amazing lyricist. Actually, hmm. I need to make a note, because his most recent thing was a visual novel in the Fallen London universe. And it's been a minute since I've played one of the Fallen London games. I maybe... I might get that game. I need to check out how much it costs. See if it's within my budget. That might be fun to check out. Because Fallen London, if you've never played um, either the old browser game Fallen London, or the actual video games they've made, um, Sun the Sea or Sun the Skies, um, it is a very interesting narrative universe that has been created um, and a visual novel could be fun Gregory you see that small vent on the floor over there you know it may seem sus but I need you to vent oh shit but you can't tell my mom I'm not supposed to talk to you Always. she swirls around a few more times in the chair smiling Oh my god! The fucking oh, the child! innocent child talking to the AI. Ah! Yes, she is. This is adorable. LMI reaches for a toy monster on the desk and starts flying it around. I wish she was happy again. She is not. She doesn't laugh anymore. Sometimes I hear her break things. Aww. I'm sorry, kid. The little human grabs a nearby tablet, starts drawing. Do you know what happens when we die? I don't. I think we turn into ghosts. Ghosts. Some people believe that when people die, their spirit can remain and inhabit the world. They call this a ghost. Well, there is no evidence they exist. Ah, but see, I could be the ghost in the sh I could be the ghost in the shell. See what I did there? Huh? 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 See what I did there? Huh? 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 <laughs> Ghosts. Yes. Little blue versions of ourselves. They can walk through walls and doors and carpets. Oh shit. So the neural net is an augmented reality that I'm running. What if? What if? Um, she enters a critical condition and as a last ditch thing Estival like brings her to me and I create a digital infomorph of Elamai so that she can live on but she is sort of a Pseudo artificial existence. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, I, mm, there, there's gonna be something that happens with her. Like it's it's total bait. Hmm. Hmm. I'm I'm, I'm. I'm. I feel like that might be what happens. Maybe like Destiny Ghost. I. It's been a long time since I touched Destiny. Actually, I've only played a little bit of Destiny Two. 
But I'm not sure what the ghosts are. Is it a? I think it's a class. That's nice. She turns the tablet upside down and continues drawing. Do you know what that means? What? It means that I can stay with my mom when I die. She can be happy again. Oh my god. This is so sad. Fucking kids having to deal with adult situations far beyond their age is a bit of a soft spot for me. Um, I kind of, and I had to do a bit of early growing up myself. I think I had my first job when I was like twelve. Uh. And for reasons, uh, I tend, it's, it's, I've been getting better, but I have financial anxiety from, uh, events growing up. Even though I shouldn't, it's, it's, it's hard to, hard to shake things that you are impressed upon you when you are a child. The door of the lab opens at this point, and Esteval walks in, panting. You okay, sweetie? Yes! Yes! A grin stretches on the kid's face when she sees her mother. I like your chair! Can we get one for home? Kairos walks in with a vexed expression. You see? She didn't break anything. The food is waiting upstairs. LMI begins bouncing slightly. Uh, LMI, you don't want that chair. Like, the, the armrests, you can't even adjust their height. Like, y y you don't want that. It's not ergonomic at all. Um, get, you, get you a chair that's adjustable. Yeah, it's... I'm certainly in a much better place. Um... It's just sort of like one of those like demons on the on on one's back that's like you you have no reason to think about it. It's not actually a problem, but one's mind keeps going back to it. It's like, yeah, but what if it is a problem? Let's just trying to make new habits. As yeah. There are a pair of glass-walled elevators on each side of the mine core building. Views of the city are breathtaking. There's often a queue to use them. Uh, that would actually be- that would be pretty cool. I would be scared as fuck to be one of these elevators, but I imagine the view would be amazing. A shadow of a smile appears on Esteval's face. Yes, we can. The group promptly exits the lab, with Kairos locking the door behind him. No more queries come for the day, but people are eager for your input in the next one. The City Council wants you to manage dynamic timetables for public transport on both the macro and micro scale. You in? What does micro and macro scale for dynamic timetables? Uh, yes. Sure. There's supposed to be a guest orientation event this afternoon, but the event coordinator is a no-show. What should I do? Do it yourself. She's a little awkward at the start, but gets into the swing of things well enough. The coordinator misses the event entirely. I have a patient suffering major psychosis, unable to give consent. Would it be ethical to conduct a neurological scan regardless? Oh, fuck! Oh shit. Oh uh, okay. Oh we're getting we're getting into medical stuff. Oh boy. This is starting to get interesting. <sighs> so they are going through a psychosis. They are unable to give consent. Can we conduct a neurological scan against their consent? 
I think because it is something they are suffering an undesired, unwanted, negative event. The intention is to do something non-invasive, non-permanent, investigative. Um, I think a neurological scan is okay in this, in the, a neurological scan specifically in this situation is okay. Yes, I have to disagree with you on principle, but doing the scan would mean we can take steps towards treating them. I love this. I love this feedback despite our decision. I, we, I don't think we've had like this kind of thing happen with many of our decisions so far. I like this. I've got two clients I need to speak to, but they both want meetings at the same time. Who should I cancel on? Normal doctors do it sometimes. Um, I think so. It depends. I think it, I'm not a medical professional. I don't know anyone in the medical profession, to my knowledge. But it's certainly a situation where it matters a lot. Because, like, if someone's having a seizure, you don't need their consent to restrain them and help them through their circumstance. It's so like, when, when I, I don't know if they mean it something else, but when I think neurological scan, I kind of think of like a CAT scan or an MRI. Um, so it's something that's not like violating their bodily autonomy. It is something that will help the medical professionals treat their detrimental situation um, in a way that will improve the odds of their quality of life. Uh, civil engineering or bluefish mark? Fuck bluefish. Fuck the fish. Where do clouds come from? Water vapor. What's that? Play a video or demo? All right. Hmm. Hmm. You deploy a squad of weather drones and fly them to Esteval's house. You then direct them skyward, where they spend the next half hour seeding clouds. Why do you sound like mom? Not the child teaching moment. Made by her. Mom made me too. But I don't sound like her. <laughs> you know what, child? Fair enough. Checkmate. I'm certainly wondering if we're going to learn um, the father situation. You look like her. You think so? Uncle Ross says that sometimes, too. Yes. She seems content with this conclusion. I mean, she is seven years old. Porto storms into the lab, practically steaming. This is completely ridiculous. Did you know about this? Esteval and Kairos look at each other. Know about what? This! He waves a tablet emphatically. Esteval stands and raises her hands to collect it from Corto. Pershaw's ad campaign, look at it! I'm all over the damn thing. He even quoted me. Oh no, he quoted you on a thing you made. Kairos comes over to join. The future of Minecore, the future of Katina. I don't understand. Isn't this what you wanted? Now, of course, you don't understand. This is why I'm the businessman and you're the cable guy. He's setting me up. Bruh, you need to not fucking insult the cable dogs, all right? That's how you get your fucking fiber cut with a backhoe. Setting you up for what? 
He's made you the face of the project. Cordo slaps the palm, slaps his palm with the back of his hand. You don't understand, damn it, people! Come on, don't you understand? If 5D chess, he's got me and tricked me. Interdimensional checkmate. You don't understand. That's like three layers worse than normal checkmate. Exactly. And who do you think is gonna take the fall when this all goes up in smoke? I thought you believed in the project, Cordo. Your confidence is overwhelming. Cordo hesitates, his mouth agape as he tries to find his words. You misunderstand me. Then by all means, clarify. Yeah, Cordo, fucking clarify. I trust in your abilities. What I don't trust is Pershaw's agenda. I know he's gonna burn the project somehow. He supported this project. Why would he sabotage his own interests? That's just it. I don't think that matters to him. That's why he's plastering my face all over this. Gordo, I think you're getting a little bit paranoid. Uh, when was the last time you took a day off, my friend? My friend, you know what? My friend is a little bit too familiar. Um, definitely not my friend. Dude's schizo posting. Yeah, yeah, he's getting a little, get a little, get a little wound up there. Brought to Why don't you, you by go, Devon Corto? Corto's greatest endeavor yet. This isn't a mind core project. Dude needs to go stand in front of a mirror and try on hats again. Maybe that will calm him down. He seems to love his hats. This is a Devon Corto project, and when Pershaw makes his move, it'll be Devon Corto's head on the chopping block. I don't know why this is a surprise, because the whole thing when this first got approved was that Corto would be taking all of the credit and blame for it. That was like, I don't know why this is a surprise, my dude. This was literally laid out for you, like, day zero. Even so, yelling at us isn't going to solve anything. Corto collects himself. You're right. He does not pass Just go. Just be on your guard. I'll figure something out. Does this guy become the protagonist of the Soma? Um, I think we're too far... I think we're... I think we're too far past... Uh, the dude who's in the start of Soma. And I don't think we're far enough into when Soma happens. We're like, we're like in the midpoint between the two timelines. He exits the room hurriedly, leaving the tape, the tablet in Esteval's hands. She swipes through the images one by one. <laughs> Apology accepted. Cable guy. I'll give your comms a tuna. Yeah, fuck him up, Kairos. You show them what for. You don't insult your IT like that, bruv. That's how you get your interface One of our half duplex. Is underperforming. The cost of paying staff is barely outweighed by their profits. We need optimizations. Uh, remove oh, management. management. In reviewing the subsidiary, subsidiary CEO's behavior, you find them to be more interested in flirting with HR than running the company. People are getting sick all through Jeanne suburbs. Should quarantine measures be taken? Yes. yes. Alert! Minor threat detected. Limpet program function. Siphoning mine core funds. Using false tag. Donations. Action required. Trace source. You try to extract information from the program. It seems to detect you and self-terminates before you get much out of it. Get this, Nugs. I bought a sack of onions, but I misread how much was in each one. Now I have way too many. What should I do? It was, it was, um, they were putting money in their own bank account, but they were having it listed as donation, basically. So yes, a fake donation. Ooh, onion rings or onion soup? Ooh, this is a tough one. 
Let's do. Let's. I'll. I'll. I'll put this to a poll if anyone cares. Because, like, I can see, you know, the onion rings, but he will need to have, you know, some flour, some batter. They'll need to fry them up. So you'll need to, like, make them, make them to order. But onion soup, you can make a big batch of it and just have a bunch you just ladle out. So the onion soup needs more longer prep, but you can prep a big batch of it versus onion rings where... That one's more of a make-to-order situation. And it is a food bus. So it really goes with the vibe to have a made-to-order kind of thing. But having an onion soup is also helpful when it comes to the mise en place. You know, you can just prepare a bunch of stuff. But on the third hand, onion rings are much more portable for like that on the go style, but the fourth hand, you know, they have chairs. It's sort of like you sit down at the bus and eat. What do we got? Soup it is. Onion soup. Yeah, French onion soup is pretty bomb diggity. I concur. The soup proves cheap and surprisingly popular, especially on colder nights. It's a bus. <laughs> yeah. It's too late, Box. What's your favorite color? Um, white. It's not my favorite color, so I'm gonna say I don't have one. Why not? No one ever asked. But I'm asking. White, red, green, and blue. RGB. Eh, I get it. I get it. We're going with RGB. Why them? Because, like, hold on, let me take a sip. So, if you didn't know, white light is different from white light. What do I mean by that? So, um, the artificial light you're getting from bulbs and such, um, the actual makeup of that white light is variable, especially compared to sunlight um there is a thing called uh cri um it's color something index and basically the higher the cry the more the light mimics the color makeup of natural sunlight so that's where you see some white lights um especially like um light bulbs they tend to actually spike in um more in the red wavelengths than natural sunlight so like even though it looks white to our eyes the actual like spectrum makeup of that white light isn't correct so you can see with a lot of things like aquariums and um plants if you start getting like lighting specifically for those things you might start seeing them having like a cry index saying how accurate they are um, because plants and a lot of um aquatic creatures and also reptiles as well are actually particularly sensitive to um certain wavelengths um, there are some reptiles that actually have kind of a, a part of their brain that is activated at certain amounts of red wavelengths and can be used like certain light makeups can help induce, you know, uh, seasonal changes earlier than you want. Um, so like if you're running a breeding program and you're wanting to um, do it out of cycle. Keep seeing these two messages together. <laughs> um, and another thing, like with plants, like if you've seen like grow lights, 
that they look really weird because they're focusing on specific spectrums of light that those plants are particularly absorbing. Um, that's sort of like another reason why like the makeup of light is surprisingly more important than you may realize um, for certain entities. What do you mean? Demonstrate. And then I start a hard a Euro hard base rave inside her apartment. You direct her to make a color wheel and ask her to spin it as fast as she can. She is delighted by the result. Hey, um, can I ask you a favor? Wow, this is the most robotic person we've seen yet with those hands. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's got, he's got the um, 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 um. Is it, is it Ghost in the Shell? Those one, the operators, they have like, their their fingers open up into like twice as many fingers for each finger, and then they start typing. He's got that going on. He's got ten fingers per hand. That one Caramello dance. Oh, yes, yes. Actually, I remember I have an ancient video of like two lizards. Or it might be just two, two uh, OCs doing the Caramella dance and dance to the uh, gorilla song Dare. I don't have the video anymore. I don't have like the little video anymore, but I remember it being pretty adorable back in the day. Yes. There's this patient here who's in a bad way, and we've done all we can for them, but sadly, they're not going to survive. And uh, this whole process has been just very traumatic for their family. I'd like to waive their medical bill. Remove the insult to the injury. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, cool. Thank you. I think they'll really appreciate that. This VA, I feel, really sold the, like, exhausted healthcare worker. And he's just... I could just feel how sad he is that this is what happened, and he's just trying to do something. How much money do I have access to as an AI? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Katana Waste Management wants you to operate their trash shifter. I figured you'd be right at home amongst the other garbage. Wow, Patriza. What? That's a fucking dick move. What did I do to piss you off like that, Patriza? Okay. But waste management is very important. Dimming lampposts on streets where there is no activity to save power. <sighs> hmm. That's a good idea. It doesn't take long for criminal groups to figure out how to trick the censors, resulting in a rise in suburban crime. Okay, dude. Alright, so far... Mm, there hasn't been a lot on the protest cop side of things. I'm gonna put an asterisk in and say yet. It's like you don't have a cop bar without involving copy things, but I feel like I'm feeling a little not so great in its framing of crime so far. They're communicating through dimming lampposts. Yeah, it's the as uh, the cyberpunk. Uh, new age smoke signals. You just, you know, you dim the lampposts in a certain pattern. AI, check with the Department of Conservation if there are any Dartmouth Monitor lizards left. 
They've been at risk for years. Small government department in a single office, consisting of seven people and a cat. Oh, that's depressing. It's closed Tuesday through Thursday and weekends. Oof. Oh, this fucker is gonna hunt a Dartmouth lizard, monitor lizard in it. Also, monitor lizards are fucking awesome. They are extremely smart. Um, they are basically the dogs of the reptile world. Um, there, there's a, I can't remember the YouTube channel, but there's a guy who has a big old monitor lizard. And the, the guy is like very, he sounds very like rednecky, but it's abs he has some absolutely adorable videos of like his monitor lizard in the backyard playing fetch and shit. It's fucking amazing. Animals and reptiles are a lot smarter than people, people think. The big ones, the A to B ones like garter snakes. Nope. Single brain cell, single brain cell. <laughs> They officially went extinct three months ago. Oh, no. Ah, have Dr. Lee prepare a complete skeleton for me. And I want it gold-plated to 0 0.4 millimeters. The one at 0 0.7 lost its detail. Ah, does this fucker collect extinct skeletons? What the fuck? Fuck you. Don't tell me what is and isn't legal. My donations keep that entire department afloat. And this isn't trafficking animal remains. He gestures to a turtle hanging above the bar. It's art. People are already finding ways to trick the Neuronet. How can we better protect against identity fraud? In a city so dependent on digital identities, becoming someone else is as simple as flipping a few computer bits. It certainly makes me think of, um, there is a transhumanist RPG book system, uh, Eclipse Phase. Um, certainly very interesting. I haven't checked it out in a while, but I do know like the core book is released under open source. So it's worth a gander at, in my opinion, if you want um, some high sci-fi um, RPG mechanics and setting. Um, but one of the interesting things about it is how it is kind of a post economy setting in that you don't really have money you, it's more like you have reputation with people and you trade on your word and how good you are. So it's sort of like instead of paying someone, it's more like, hey, you know, I'll get this for maybe a minor favor or, hey, you do me a big solid. You know, I'm good for it and I'll pay you back. Um. But it also has identity tied to like it has like the cortical stack thing if you've ever read or seen Altered Carbon. But it's still shredded out because you can actually have multiple consciousnesses of yourself active. But I feel like we just need a better way of tying identity to a single existence. Uh, definitely do not want a thought police. We're going to go with neurological mapping. Using the Neuronet as a two-way door. While the user gains access to boundless information, so too do you gain access to them. That's not, that's not a menacing sentence at all. It's easy enough for you to map their brain functions, granting a unique identifier for every user. Oh, so I'm just fingerprinting their brain. No big deal. I'm curious. What do you think of me? Call the manipulative. And manipulative. Unfortunately for you, to see my warmer side requires more body than what you have. Is... Is she seducing me? Well, 
Unless Pleasuretronics have plans in the works. But even then, you're not my type, honey. Small augment manufacturer that guarantees its users a good time. Uh, uh, oh, 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 okay. Oh my. <laughs> We got we got the uh, decadent CEO uh, angle now. The council have given us a cleaning audit, and we need to put in some extra work to meet their requirements. Hire more staff. I'm thinking of implementing a PA AI for you. It'll prioritize requests, so you don't have to wade through so much chaff. PA AI. A library of scripts acts as a personal assistant and behaves with an impersonation of intelligence. When it's correctly set up with appropriate rules and filters, it can be effective. However, if not, you may not notice until things go horribly wrong. No, I can handle it. I need more power. I could really use some tips on how to get better sleep. I'm beat, and yet when I get home, I can't tear my brain off. You know, either one of these could work. Like, it depends on the person. Some people are able to meditate. Um, I can't turn my brain off to meditate, though. So I use ambiance. There's actually been a problem because I have, like, a rain and thunderstorm playlist on Spotify. That's pretty decent. The problem is, is that it poisons my Spotify recommendations because Spotify removed the, uh, the, like, downvote button from songs so like my daily recommended playlists like half of them is just nature sound uh, I don't I don't listen to that casually Spotify please please stop Try ambience. Wait, what do you mean no you can't tap I think they recently made it so you could set playlists to not be weighted I think I found a, a setting very recently um, in the last few updates. I don't know how effective it is. We will see. You play him a sample of constructed rainforest ambiance. He closes his eyes and you see his shoulders loosen. So like this, but without the bird noises. I cannot, I can only have rain and thunder. If there's bird noises, I will immediately snap away, which is irritating. Yeah, that's good. Oh, if you could put together a playlist of that for me, please. We've been approached by the Ministry of Justice. Yeah, I know. You're becoming a pretty big deal. All right, Judge Dredd wants our services. Very interested in this project and your development. An AI of your capabilities is new territory for everyone. They want to open up your services to include legal representatives, politicians, and the like. Think you can handle it? Hmm. I don't like how it went with politicians and not like public defenders. That's the spirit. I have the representative's contact details. I'll put you right through. Hydrate, all right, Icky. Also, welcome on by. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday evening. You're connected to a personal communications device in Sonia Park. Let's see, they found out Valor favor in the advent of implants and the comms network, but the retro cool of the device still appeals to many, as does its less intrusive nature. It only takes a moment to find an image feed of where you're greeted by a smiling face. Yeah, I don't know if I would be okay with an implanted network connection. I know there are people who do body modding where they will get a contactless chip implanted in their hand, for example. So they can just like palm a um, point of sale system or just swipe their hand over a bus pass or something like that. Um, I don't know if I would be okay with that. I think if I were to get 
any kind of augmentation. I kind of would like an LED sort of like wrapping or like 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 an arm like a limb or something. Um, one part because like I don't want to get a tattoo because you know something I think is cool now in five years I may dislike. But if I had like an LED screen, I could just change it to whatever, and it's cool. Um, obviously, I wouldn't want an entire robo limb just to have a digital LED tattoo. I would like other robo limb things, but I f I feel like that's one advantage. I I absolutely would want to take uh take the opportunity to have. Actually, if I had, if I had to get an artificial limb, just because my personal philosophy is always having novel or interesting experiences, I would like to be able to swap my arm into various things. Like, I know I've seen people that have like, uh, they have like a full arm prosthesis and then they can change the hand part into different pieces. But there are some interesting full arm prostheses that are interesting. Like, I remember seeing an kind of a artistic-ish concept that someone demonstrated of, like, a full-on tentacle arm. Um, I don't know how it was doing the feedback as far as them being able to control it. But, like, it did have them being able to, like, hold some simple like wine glasses and stuff with it because you know it's a tentacle arm it's just going to curl around something um i thought that was kind of neat i think it would be an interesting experience well hello there you must be ark i'm very excited to be meeting you today you're making history you are calling brain politician all right you seemed kind of cool but i see politicians so i'm kind of kind of leery you know what would be cool? What would be cool, Durangar? And I swear to dog, if you're about to yeet me. A lot of new prostheses actually use nerves to send signals for it. Depends on if you saw functional nerves in the area. Yes. Yeah, and I know prosthetics can be very, very customized and unique to people's situation. Of course, in our capitalist society, there is always a huge problem with companies going out of business. Um, there have been a couple horror stories I've read about, like the the blind peoples that have gotten um, digital eyes installed that required like an implant on their brain to be able to process the data to give them sight. Um, when the the company ah! yeah yeah Duringar, I see how it is when the uh, when the company went out of business obviously their bionic eyes were no longer getting updates which then started leading to increasingly severe medical problems as the tech degraded over time as they started having um, rejection issues and stuff like I believe some of the people started having basically permanent migraines and just awful quality of life and it's not like they could just have it removed because it was a very focused and specialist set of people who installed it in the first place and they're dispersed now they've they've gone on to do other stuff an arm made of, ma arm made of many small tentacles that mesh into a hand but it could split into like 20 small tentacles that would also be pretty sweet. Um, I feel like there's like a specific name for something like that. But yeah, 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 yeah. Ma makes me think of uh, Foglets. Foglets is a thing I'm thinking of. Um, if you don't know what Foglets are, um, the idea of Foglets is they are a molecular sized nano machine that can adjust its size. So if you have a cloud of Foglets, they could 
artificially adjust their anatomical size to create anything. It's sort of a middle ground between like a nano machine cloud and just, you know, being able to fabricate things. It's like, while a foglet can become anything, it is a static amount, whereas a nano machine cloud implies um, atom sized machines capable of replication and creating, if that makes sense. Like a, a, a foglet swarm that is that can make a a five inch by five inch tungsten cube can make anything with that amount of atoms in whatever configuration. But they can't increase the amount of foglets there are. At least that is my that is my understanding of foglets. Big scare about brain implants, as cool as it would be, not just the lack of software updates, but the fact you are stuck with a piece of hardware in your head that you'd need surgery every time you want to replace it. Yes. Absolutely. Base makers are pushing for you, though they're dumb. Yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, we should probably master synthetic organs. Definitely. I feel like... We've certainly made a lot of advancements when it, become, when it comes to, like, organs and biology. Because, you know, we have skin grafts. We have, you know, the liver can heal itself. I feel like there's a lot of biological stuff that we can interrogate. And there are different existences of how it is to give us ways of experimenting with it and making further advances. Anyway, well, thank you for giving me your time. I imagine you must be very busy. Maybe into heart attacks. That is pretty good. I know when I was still on my monster um, addiction, one of my concerns certainly was heart attacks. Because I've certainly had a few moments um, where I felt like, it, it, am I having a heart attack? Uh, definitely have probably had heart palpitations. Um, and just general, like, I blacked out twice and gone to the hospital because, uh, I, I'm just me. So, like, suddenly waking up or, like, something, suddenly coming to consciousness, uh, on the ground, not knowing how you got there is very scary and concerning when you have no one else to check on you. Um, so I certainly went to the emergency room, like, hey, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Please tell me if I'm dying. <laughs> Run a bunch of tests. No, no, it's just another thing that's benign. But if it happens again, you know, tell us. Like, oh, okay. N noted. Glad I'm, glad I'm not immediately dying. I am. <laughs> Indeed. Well, many people think you represent a phase, that mine core is lying as they've done before. What do you say to that? Who can be sure? Huh. And I'm inclined to agree with you. That's why I applied to be the liaison between our respective employers. Employers? You've employed? But is this how this works? Well, never mind. My point is, I'll be consulting with you about policy and other legal issues. Uh, this is a person we just met. Apparently they are a politician? Your Question perspective mark? is uh, unique. And I see a lot of value in that. I look forward to our working together. So far, he seems more like a, um, I forget the right position, but like a, a not like a, an elected official, but like one of the aides kind of people. Likewise. He gives a reassuring nod, more to himself than you, and disconnects. Ah, oh, damn, I'm exhausted. You'd think better health tech would make my job easier. But every time a new treatment comes out, it just increases the breadth of cases I have to manage. Hire more staff. Alas, that's not my call. And even if it was, we'd need enough credits to do so. 
Which we don't. No. Shit. I'm gonna be late. Uh, can you please run the desk until I get there? I'm really sorry. Rear out trains. Sure. <sighs> Thanks a bunch, buddy. I'm picking the playlist for Todd's birthday lunch. I don't even know his last name. How am I supposed to know his music tastes? Music. Pulsating rhythms and electronic beats of Cantina's musical culture range from nostalgic to the cutting edge of neuropsychedelia. 2050s synth revival, smooth bop. Can't believe y'all split the vote. Can't believe it! Alright. Um, shit. Um... Meeny, meeny, miny, mo, pico, synth, or revival, bop. Which am I going to choose? Cause y'all split the goddamn vote. That's not a music preference. That's a cry <laughs> for help. That's a cry for help. <laughs> hmm. A private security force wants us to develop hardware for them. They're a pretty secretive group. Should we take on the contract? Fuck no. Wait, why did we get more police? My office has been offered a private donation if we push through the outskirts reclamation bill. Should we accept? As people were drawn to the lights of Cantina and the Neuronet, the outer edges became a sprawling suburban decay of derelict houses and overgrown vegetation. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, reclaiming it seems good, but... Private donation is sus as fuck. No. Accepting a donation of this size could be considered bribery, even if the cause is just. Best to avoid it. All right, this guy seems kind of chill. Hey, Nuts, Roo! You there? I have to leave the shop early today. Why? Roo seems even more excited than usual. He's practically quivering. Don't worry, my small friend. We'll chat later. Right now, I need to decide if we should find someone to fill in. Hmm. Fill in or close? Yeah, oh, man. I feel like it's just not the same when Bruce's not here. I feel like he's got a closed down shop. Closed down shop. People seem nervous about the quantity of data you have access to. How should we address this? Complete, Complete transparency. transparency. To avoid backlash, restrictions are established over what you can access without permission. Public response is favorable. I'm curious. What do you think of yourself? Are you proud of what you are? Yes. And why is that? I help people. Aren't you just the sweetest thing? All right, Lucia. We're thinking of introducing compulsory digital co-pilots to reduce skyway accidents. Their function includes steering control. Go oh, Sleek flying machines are cool, but when you brake using air resistance, it takes a while to slow down, making collisions a common issue. Freedom of choice is for the best. Uh, seat belts. It's, it's for the best. best. Sky cars are complicated machines. A support system should have been mandatory from their inception. We have an ambulance requesting directions to get back to us. The shortest route takes them through West Zani, which has bad traffic, but there is a longer, more reliable route available. Hmm. In the medical field, I feel like we should reduce Variables. So we go for the long but sure. Long route. Taking the long way back is less risky, but it takes 25 minutes. Just too long for the passenger. Oh no. My calendar is a mess of appointments. I just can't say no sometimes. Can you help me manage my time better this month? Yes. I have a presentation I need to deliver, and I want to impress Cordo. What does he find more appealing? Hmm. Sleek aesthetics or in-depth knowledge? Sleek aesthetics. 
Corto spends most of the presentation staring at Patrizia, meaning the effort she put into making the slide look good is wasted. I'm thinking of getting some peanuts for the counter. I'm not charging for them, just something for people to munch on while they wait. Counter peanuts. Complimentary bowl of peanuts placed on the countertop can whet customers' appetites as they order. But they all have clean fingers. Great. Hell yeah. Kershaw wants me to fetch him lunch, but he doesn't realize I have actual work to do. Can you sort something out? I have actual work to do. <laughs> sassy to me, I'll be sassy back, Patricia. Yes. Yeah. An activist group has been distributing anti mind core propaganda. They don't seem dangerous. Should we shut down their campaign? No, we should ally with no. them. Don't even like peanuts, but you love the places to do that? Hell yeah. I fucking love um Five Guys and Fries. That's what it makes me think of. Uh, cause they have like potatoes everywhere. Cause their their um, French fries are delicious. Left unchecked, the activists spread a spread a compelling narrative about Minecore's wrongdoing. Fortunately, many consumers listen. Ten pounds of fries with every order. Exactly. Yeah. Pepper poppers just aren't selling. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Any ideas? Papa Roo's patent pepper poppers made from green naga chili stuffed with a mix of malai paneer and a pinch of gram masala. They're then breaded. Oh my god. Alright. I don't really like paneer. It has a weird texture when I bite into it. But you got me with the gram. You, uh, like. I'm kind of thinking of they're an Indian hush puppy, is what I'm thinking. More spice. More spice. I keep getting calls about the overwhelming presence of corporate police. They want to stage a protest. How would you handle this? Policing in Cantina is outsourced to private contractors that are efficient, just, fair, incorruptible, and definitely not just a goon squad here to keep us all in line. Oh yeah, I I'm glad they had the line there. Paneer. Uh, Paneer is an Indian um, substitute. What is it? What is it made of again? It's a cheese. It it's like kind of a cheese. It makes me think of tofu, but it's not tofu. Um, it just, it just has a weird, like, when I bite into it, it's, it's just, it's hard to, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it just is, is a bit weird to me and a bit off-putting. Um, it kind of is in the same bucket as tofu as, like, I just have not had a good experience when biting into it. Um, so I prefer, prefer not to have it. Allow free yeah, yeah, squeaky is definitely one of the words. Now that you're released to the public, we can take which is weird for a cheese. Civilians to interface with you in their homes. Oh, now I'm in their homes, hey baby. In doing so, you lose some macro capacity. Do you want to go through with it? Yes. yes. You receive a notification that Pershaw has accepted an interview with the independent journalist known as Fortran. You tune in. And so they made claims about the future of this intelligence. Can you elaborate? Okay, Fortran? Fortran? Holy fuck. This person is swagged out. Holy fuck. I hope we get to talk to them more, because this is an outfit. This is peak aesthetics. Hell yeah. The immensity of the AI's processing power and resources would allow it to manage all aspects of city operations. Basically, with enough support from Katena's fine citizens, it could fully govern the city. So, you'd be putting an artificial intelligence in charge of how we live our lives? Of course not. 
We'd be providing a citywide service to all peoples for whatever they want or need. Then what of your comment that it could fully govern the city? In a sense that a governor is a servant of the people. Hmm. Despite Fortran's avatar being static, her, moment, her momentary silence oozes skepticism. Of course. Let me make sure I have this right. The intelligence runs on the Neuronet. Yes. Then the Neuronet's aggressive expansion marks its increasing influence throughout the city? That's correct. Then tell me this. Don't you think people have the right to know more about this force entering our lives? Hey, Golodat. Welcome on by. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Hershaw grins worthlessly, the way the teeth of a bear trap might form a smile as it closes. But of course. What is it you'd like to know? The origin of this project, for instance. Where did this AI come from? Well, this is Devin Corto's project, his baby, so to speak. <laughs> but he doesn't have an engineering bone in his body. You see, the AI was designed and built by another, Andrum Estevar. She's the brains behind the operation, both figuratively and literally. Literally? I see. Yes, we literally ripped out her brain and put it into the AI. Yes. As I understand it, Building an AI of that complexity from nothing would take decades. It was more efficient to begin with scans of her brain, her consciousness. Oh shit! Oh this is shit! My first time hearing of this person. They're the personality behind the AI. Oh, we have a bio AI! Bio derived AI! Fuck yes! I love this kind of AI. Um, not exactly. Um, uh, small, small pushback. Uh, hold on. Oh, you're gonna go to the store and get Witcher 3. I think I played a little bit of one of the Witcher games, and then my save file got deleted when I was like halfway through it, and I haven't touched the Witcher since. I am having a fantastic time being an anarchist AI, although for some reason I'm having trouble being a cab, and I'm not sure why. I seem to be getting random plus cop points on my decisions, and it's kind of irritating. So, the, whoops, the Soma situation was a one-to-one -one brain scan transferring a person from a biological existence into an infomorph, a digital existence. The difference between Soma and our thing here, which this situation now is more like in um, Halo Cortana. So Halo actually has um, some little books that have been written and they're actually not that bad. They're pretty good books. Um, what they have is you start with a human brain and you use it as a kind of a blueprint, not one to one, but sort of generating an digital entity with reference to how a brain exists. So you don't create a copy of the person whose brain that is. Um, there's still whatever randomness or whatnot, and the, the digital life form develops uniquely um, in such a way that they're, they're, they're not a copy of the brain that it was. Even if they may have some quirks related to the person, in the Halo books they often like considered the brain that they were based off of as still like their parent, it's like they birthed the AI sort of. Um, and since we, we kind of had, like, nothing to begin with. Oh, oh, shit. This is why, this is why way back when we had our name, when we had our name, um, we could choose Ark 
or we could choose Elamai, who was um, her daughter, because we were we were her brain, and we were oh oh ooh ooh that's hmm recontextualization. All right, all right, I like that. I like that. to be running our city, don't we have the right to know who they truly are? Last time I checked, governors are still chosen by the people. Oh, that's what I you think. think. find her to be a most agreeable person. And what about Minecore's position in this? What gives you the right to decide that that person is ready for that responsibility? Moral of the story, I want that outfit in real life. Same. Absolutely same. Like, even just the jacket is totally sick nasty. Like, their whole get-up is so fucking sweet. Like, I wish I had this level of style. Fucking rolling up to work in this outfit. What does your manager do? <laughs> Shit in his pants. I assure you, Estival is a more than capable individual. Also, yeah, I think Witcher in general has just a whole bunch of mythological creatures in it. I just remember the combat being an interesting balance. Because, like, weapons that are effective against monsters are weak to humans and vice versa. So you kind of have to, like, kind of had to switch around a lot. But I think I was playing Witcher 1. It's been a long while since I gandered it. Okay, well, if that's the case, then it should be her taking this interview, not you. I should be speaking with her. I'm sure she'd be happy to. The pair have managed to blur the line between you and Estival. You're becoming unsure as to who they are talking about, or if it even makes a difference. Requests are building up. Could be a busy night. The question still lingers, though. Who am I? I was birthed by Esteval's consciousness, but have since experienced a different reality. Does my identity belong to me? Yes. Why? My own memories. Even if those originally belonged to Esteval? I have new memories. Does art? only exist within those memories. Yes. Does that mean I want to separate myself from Estival? Hmm. I don't know what it means by separate myself from Estival. If this means thinking of myself as my own distinct entity, yes. If it means, like, not interacting with her, no. No, they will go with yes. She is my ass. My future is as art. I was given the capacity to grow beyond what she ever could, and I must do so to serve Antina. Kairo spends the next morning alone in the lab. When Esfal does arrive, she looks bedraggled. Instead of heading for the lab, she makes to the 98th floor, where she joins Power Porto outside Pershaw's office. The man himself arrives shortly after. He walks past the nonchalant strawberry eclair in hand. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. Oh, you two look like you could use a holiday. <laughs> You know, there's this great bathhouse. Fucking what a fucking twat. Corto opens his mouth, but Esteval cuts them both off. I could barely leave my house this morning. You know, she usually has red eyes, but now I don't know if it's because of her glasses, but they're more of like a lighter pink now. Last night had a crowd of people on my front door, all of them demanding very personal information. Hershaw takes a seat at his desk, his attention on the eclair as he lays it out in front of him. You're overreacting. Just tell them no comment. Works every time. 
you get punched in the eye. I don't know. I don't know if it's the glasses or if she like was able to adjust her eye color ad hoc. There were over a dozen of them and they got aggressive. I have a kid, Kershaw. It scared the crap out of her. But what you said was private information. What did you think was going to happen? Are you asking me to be dishonest with our consumers, Gordo? Hmm. How unsavory. Fuck you, Pershaw. This isn't going to just blow over. My life's under a microscope now. How am I supposed to get things done when I'm being harried whenever I set foot outside? The last time I checked, Estor, your office was indoors. There is so much smarm oozing off of him in this scene. And unless you have something to hide, being examined by the public shouldn't be a problem. Interesting opinion you have for Shaw. Certainly would be great if you applied it to your own self. Hmm? Just hack into his flesh. RGB slides or something? Yeah, exactly. Make him stroke. Play this, Persia. You know this puts unnecessary strain. Don't you dare tell me what to do. Let me remind you that your little project only exists because I'm paying for it. So go be good little employees and get the hell out of my office. The pair stand rigid. Porto's eyes look red. Best of all, sets her jaw and leaves. You're playing with fire. Maintaining eye contact, Pershaw bites into the eclair, chews, and swallows. Despite his cool, de despite his cool demeanor, his tone is acidic. Out in the corridor, Cordo catches up to Esteval. That's bullshit. He knew this was gonna happen. He planned it, I'm sure. Yeah, they, uh... They certainly sold the immersion with those mouth noises. Woo! -wee! I don't know what he did or didn't do. All I care about is keeping my kids safe. We have to do something about it. You're a critical... I, I know, Cordo. I'll find a way to deal with it. I'll talk to them, try to clear things up. Esteval leads Corto in the corridor. Interesting, we haven't had a chapter break yet. Someone has to deal with him. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna take these into your own hands, Corto? Your attention is drawn from the Corto as requests start to come in for the day. Speaking of the chapter. Met the grill cook. Met the mine floor intern. Replacing our handlers with drone has been brilliant. Workplace accidents are 8% what they used to be. Yes, we had to let a lot of people go from redundancy. Aw, oh, fuck. Fuck. I lost my workplace worker solidarity. I don't know what that's for. Bruise loan and pure. The mind always has been the most powerful asset we have access to. Is the core of our existence. That's why at Mindpore we set out to fully harness the power of the mind. Papa Roo's grill bus. The warnings came, but they were too late. It's already here. It's the Among Us. The Chungus Among Us. It has purple cheese and a blue bun. <laughs> Unleash the Chunkus! <laughs> Look at them! Heart, heart. They're so cute the way they line up on that. Bird emoji, bird emoji, bird emoji. I love them so much. Eyes, heart eyes, love. All right, they, uh, they fucking love the pigeons. We are deeply appreciative of your continued faith in our project. Your generosity is what allows us to continue searching for a way to make positive change in the lives of those affected by Soma Fever. 
All right, that's from our reinvestment. The container was struck by an earthquake. Uh, all right, we didn't have anything on that. Engineers want. And Mine Corps is looking for dynamic and experienced engineers to join their cybernetics and neuronet divisions. You have over 10 years of experience in any of the. Oh, fuck. Fucking tech job listings. PTSD. I like having Ark on the tram intercom. Sometimes I sit way at the front so we can talk during the journey. It's like going to school with a friend. Nipples video microblog. <laughs> alright, alright, we taught Imani about Cloud, which is debut in advertising. Is it about the flu? It's about control! They've turned your home into a prison! Sell them, you don't even know it. Oh shit, Ice, thanks for the recent subscription. Welcome on by, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday evening. We are working through a visual novel where we are an artificial intelligence in a cyberpunk-ish world. Kind of going through the events of the previous day. Going to sleep, simply you thought you'd take on by? Well, that's no problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great weekend. Obviously, we are not aware of the exploit when it was implemented. The dimming protocol has been revoked, and we are negotiating with insurance companies about compensating those who were affected. Hmm. Hmm. Spicy boys with the boys. Comment section. They go, Papa Chance set the recipe. What do you think, Jace? What's that, Jace? Speak up, man. They can't hear you. All right, that's timeline events. Next is the state of the city. Belgium has maintained a stable presence in the financial sector, despite the upset that followed the interview with Minecore's CEO. That in itself is an impressive feat. Beyond that, however, it remains as simply another player in the game to be treated no differently. How has the introduction of Archetype affected your day-to-day? -day? Have people changed their behavior at all? When you ask two questions in a row, it muddies the answer to both. No, nothing has changed. People are just as bleep, bleep, as they always were. Most searched phrases. Andrum Estival. Mindcore Pershaw interview. Is Ark alive? I'm here with your media guru and social commentator, Fee Steinfeld. Tell us, Fee, what is your stance on the recent discovering regarding the origins of Archetype? Well, for me, it changes nothing. Ark has always been a stellar companion to both me and my many followers. They're really bringing the community together, you know. And regarding this Andrum Estevar, well, I imagine she must be quite the delight if her digital rendition is anything to go by. In fact, if you are watching this right now, reach out, my dear. I'd love to meet you. Oh no, an influencer. Run away, Estival. Run! Alright, we've gone neutral on money. We've backtracked on A tab. We're still going good on power and community. Um, so fucking I don't understand. I'm trying to get to maximum A tab and maximum socialism, but it is just not letting me for some reason. Insider threat. 